Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be putting back brakes on this 2003 Chevy Suburban. It's easy, guys. It's so easy, a blind man can do it. I'm going to do it blindfolded. Stick around. Let's get started on this. Okay guys, like I said, I'm going to do this blindfolded. I did it once on an old Chevy back in high school. Well, it wasn't high, well, it was high school, but it was my senior year in auto tech. And uh, I did it on an old, what was it, an 80 Chevy on the rear. That's, you know, it had all the springs and stuff. That was a little difficult. This is going to be easy, guys. And I'm disclaimer here i'm not making fun of anybody with uh with sight issues at all i'm just trying to demonstrate this is very easy um easier than the front so what i'm going to do is i got to get you let's see so you can see this i'm going to put my blindfold on i got tools laid out here get my blindfold on here I want it covering up my nose uh, it kind of hurts my eyes but I don't know where you guys are at so I don't know if you can see me or not but ah it's kind of tight on my eyes okay so first thing we're going to do is just like we did the front We're going to squeeze these pistons back in. Try not to squeeze your brake line. I already took the cap I took the cap off the uh, master cylinder. Now I'm going to squeeze these all the way in. Now, if you if you take that off and you find out they're not squeezed in all the way, what you can do is put an old pad in there, and uh, and then squeeze them the rest of the way in. This will usually do it. I'm going to do the bottom one too. This is weird, guys. Like I said, I'm not poking fun at anybody with any kind of disabilities here. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get one piston that's stuck. And you've really got to push it hard to get it to go back in. If you find yourself in that situation, it's probably best if you rebuild that caliper or better yet, get you a new caliper because once it does go in, who's to say it's not going to stick next time you put your foot on the brake? Okay. Now this is a, I believe this is 14 millimeter. Now up top here, right there, I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't. Sometimes that'll turn. It's like half, two sides is half round, the other sides are. Or flat. That's to put your wrench on there. I believe this is a three-quarter wrench. I'm just going to put that on there and hold it. 
Uh oh. If you can see that but hopefully you can see I'm holding that piece still got the other side to do but I'm not gonna do it blindfolded I got the oil changed I didn't show you that because that's you know you pull the drain plug let it drain well, I start it up let it warm up then I pulled the drain plug, let it drain, pulled the filter off, filled the new filter up because these ones go straight up in. I pulled the new filter off and uh, filled it up with oil. Then I uh, put it on. Filled it up with five quarts of oil. <clears throat> Should do the bottom one first. I may have to go get a socket. This one's awful tight. Go get a socket, guys, and I'll be right back. Stick around with me. <laughs> I can't see you guys. All right, hang tight, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to put this one back in here. I'm not going to tighten it. I'm just going to put it in there to hold that from flipping down. Okay, so that one stayed, that's good. Now, take these bolts out. Hope that ain't a bee. I can't see. <laughs> Not allergic to them, I just don't like being stung. Just gonna set that up there like that. Yeah, they're getting down there. I'll show you guys. I can't see, but well, I don't know where you're at. Okay, I'm gonna put this one back in here. I don't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing, but. This is just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, they could use it. That one was easy, all right. Oh, it's just back in here. There we go. I'm gonna put them screws. Okay, there's one. No, it's started yet. We 
weird. I have to keep my eyes closed too because if I don't, this uh, blindfold hurts my eyes. So. I should have kept my wrenches all I know where they're at. Now these rotors are fine. So we're not changing them. But if we had to, we would have just took this mount, this mount off here. Like we did yesterday, a couple big bolts in the back. <coughs> and changed the uh, rotor. Now this one, the emergency brake works on the inside of the rotor in here on both sides. So there's like a, kind of like this on the inside. And when you pull the emergency brake, it pushes, pushes these little shoes or these little pads out up against it. That's how those work. Now some of these, like on the little front wheel drive cars, you got a screw the piston in you can't squeeze them in I don't I don't have one here to show you or I would show you is that whole thing turning yeah it is All right, so I gotta get my wrench Where is it? I'm gonna hold that there we go All right. Why didn't you guys tell me it was turning? Because I couldn't see it. Now the bottom one stayed taking it out. Shit, there we go. <clears throat> All right, let's take the blindfold off. See how we did. All right. Cool beans. And then you just set the brakes up. You set the brakes up just like you do on the front ones. These weren't real bad, but they were getting down there. So, I'm going to put this wheel on, and I'm going to jump to the other side and do it. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. Put your wheel on. I'm not going to show you guys that because, I mean, if you don't know how to take your wheel off, you probably shouldn't be messing with something as important as brakes. <laughs> But anyway, again, not not poking fun at disability uh, people. Um, you know, I've got disability myself, you know. So, but I want to show you, it's really easy. Probably five minutes, pretty much anyone can do this. If you know anything about vehicles or nuts and bolts, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, this is real easy. Uh, you can bring it up online tells you all about it um, like I said this is under perfect conditions everything's good the caliper's good it's not sticking you know if you run into that issue then you're gonna have to change the caliper and then you're gonna have to bleed the brakes and there's different processes for that but as far as if you if you're just going to run into something like this it's real easy guys uh, so yeah Good to go. I did find her leak. It was leaking a little O-ring up on the heater, the heater hose. There's a T. That was leaking a little O-ring in there. I replaced it, so hopefully that will take care of it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do the other side, and I think this thing's done. I'll check the air pressure and stuff like that for her. So, all right, Courtney, there you go. Love you, hon. And with you guys, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care and bye-bye.